Over the course of a year, Capitol Mall hosts many different walking events, which raise much needed funding for many important causes. Yet, amid all the hustle of the annual Cherry Blossom Festival is a relatively small event known as the Freedom Walk. Its purpose is not so much to raise funds as to raise awareness. The purpose of the Freedom Walk is to raise awareness of the internment um, and through the internment raise, um, raise awareness of the importance of upholding civil liberties and civil rights for all Americans. Grant Ichikawa had recently graduated with a degree in accounting when he was forcibly placed into what was euphemistically known as a relocation center. America made a big mistake in, in, in uh, putting all of us in, in prison. Uh, actually, it's a prison that guards all the way around, and uh, uh, it's, it's a racial profiling at its worst. It's an embarrassing part of U.S. history. But in 1942, nearly every American of Japanese ancestry living in the western U.S. was placed in one of ten internment camps because of what was termed military necessity. My mother was interned during the war. She was less than a year old. She posed no threat to the country. She just happened to be of Japanese ancestry at a time when this country was at war with Japan. One of the organizers of the internment famously remarked, if it is a question of the safety of the country and the Constitution, the Constitution is just a scrap of paper to me. The Constitution, while very bold and promising um, inalienable rights and civil liberties, actually requires a lot of vigilant defense in order for the Constitution's promise to be realized. While a few people protested the internment, Grant Ichikawa joined the army and fought against the Japanese in the Philippines. Well, it's the only way to prove our loyalty. Uh, our main reason was to prove our loyalty to this country. We were not enemy aliens, but we we're American citizens. We we're Americans. More than 20 years ago, the federal government formally apologized and offered compensation to those interned. Yet, each year, a few hundred people gather and walk to commemorate the events. The walk is short less than two and a half miles, and participants increasingly include people of many different races. These guys were in these camps, uh, and we, we don't want to see that happen again, so it could happen, but we can definitely uh, do what we can to avoid that and remind these politicians, remind you know, the citizens that you know, we, we should not allow that. It should never happen to any group of people again. When he was held at a camp in Wyoming, 11-year-old Norman Mineta joined the Boy Scouts. But again, uh, we have a chance today to renew our commitment through this Freedom Walk, very aptly named. Today, Aaron Lewis, Scoutmaster of Boy Scout Troop 508, sees an important lesson for his group of future leaders. They've learned a little bit, but I think the main thing I've learned is, you know, you have to be there to be part of it. That, that's how you really learn. You, you, you get there and you actually see the people talking, you get to listen to them. And decades after risking his life to defend the country that had denied him his basic rights, Grant Ichikawa remains proud to be an American. Of course, of course. Very, very proud. That's why this memorial means so much to us. It's a, uh, a memorial to our patriotism.